Welcome back to the pursuit of an inscrutable reciprocity. We uh, just did a mad rush through the upper room, uh, sorry, through the front entrance, getting uh, nicked by a couple of, well, two or three arrows. But we own a new part of the house that we did not otherwise, did not previously have access to. So, it's me. So the good news is, we may be able to find out more about these various puzzles and things. Actually, have I used up all my healing potions yet? No, let's use one. Don't know if there's more security up here, of course. There very likely is. Making it security, I mean. Day four. The new owner of this mansion wanted me to take care of the garden maze for the week. I've managed to get the sprinklers working throughout the hedge maze. It looked like it was overdue. The crazy part was the hedges turned green as soon as the water hit them. Well, at least they now look healthier. Still, that seems strange. The maze itself is kind of interesting. I found three different statues. All three have unusual notches in them, as if something is supposed to go in them. Maybe the previous owners decided to take whatever it was with them. I guess it was only valuable. It looks like the hedges may need a trimming, but it's getting late. I'll have to do that tomorrow. Day 5. As I was trimming the hedges, I decided to do a little exploring. I've noticed that there is a gate at the end of the maze. For the life of me, I can't seem to open it. It looks like there's a lock on it, but the keyhole is a fake. It's just painted on there. I was a bit worried that I won't be able to get in there to take care of the plants behind the gate, but this is very strange. All the plant life seems to be very healthy. Also, I've noticed that the mechanists were able to put in turrets. I went to one of them for help with the gate, but they couldn't get it open. They told me that when they got in there, that there was no plant life to be found. I wonder what's going on here. Day 6. We still can't seem to get that gate in the maze garden to open. It was open before, there's got to be a way to open it up again. I'm starting to wonder if it may have something to do with the statues. One thing is certain, since there wasn't anything valuable in there, nobody's too worried about it. Still, I can't stop thinking about it. If the plant life just all of a sudden appeared there, what else is in there? Alright, well, that, I was going to say that doesn't tell me anything I don't know, but it actually does. They mentioned turrets. Do they mean watches? Or do they. Is that a warning for me that there's more death traps? Wouldn't surprise me in the least. Alright. That looks out on the front room. Okay. Where's the watcher? Oops, off, off, off is good. Lots of bedrooms. Oh, hello. Toy chest with a bunch of toy city watch and a couple of toy bots. Oh, nice. Day six. I decided to have a walk around in the training room to see how the guards train for combat. I've always heard my uncle's stories about being a guard for an estate. He told me about having to battle off burglars that was going to rob and kill everybody that lived there. My uncle told everyone to go hide in the cellar until he came down for them. Then he approached the burglar. They had a long fight and broke both of their swords. My uncle then went after him swinging. He finally took down the burglar and sent him to the city watch. He must be quite tough and skilled. The burglar was lucky he didn't kill him. One of these days I may get the chance to become a guard myself like my uncle. But there were no guards training today. I guess I'll have to check back here tomorrow. Day 7. As I entered the training room today, I was greeted with quite a few guards practicing resting. Walking in, I noticed that there was a big clock to the left of me that has number buttons and six small levers. My uncle was to the right of it. I went to him and asked about the clock. He told me that nobody can get it opened. So I asked if I could try it. All the guards chuckled a bit, but after a few seconds they let me. I thought about the clocks with the numbers below them and then started to push the number buttons. I couldn't figure out the last two digits. So I counted how many numbers were on the big clock and put in the total. I then heard a metallic click. This made all the guards pause. I then fiddled around with the levers for quite a while and then the doors started to move. This excited the guards. Sadly, the doors moved back to where they were and then the numbers all went back to zero. It should have worked. I wonder what I was missing. I did remember which way I moved the levers and wrote it on, the, on one of the hallway walls near my room. All right, clocks with numbers below. 
So we've got the last two digits. Now I put in the security code that we had from the other note and got the cling like like it was the correct code or like it was one of several possible correct codes. But um, surely that's not it. This must be a different one. So close with numbers below them, start to push the number buttons, couldn't figure out the last two digits. Counted how many numbers were on the big clock and put in the total. Well, it should be 12, right? As the last two digits, but we'll see. Um, then the levers move back to zero. All right, let's, what, what am I gonna note on this? Uh, clocks with numbers below. First two digits. Number, uh, total of numbers on big clock. Last two digits. Levers, we'll find out what the levers are. As far as this East was training room, right? And North is library access. Okay, well that's very helpful. We'll have to have a look on the hallway. But first. Oh, a keyed book. Okay. Hmm. More toys. Dolls. Day five. It's our first day in this new home. This place is quite big. Mummy wanted to look around in this place, so me and Mummy took a walk in the garden maze. The ground was a bit wet and muddy because of the sprinklers. As we were heading towards the centre of the maze, I found a little book. I think it's a fake because it won't open. Also, it's made of metal. Mummy told me that it's a toy. Now it's in my toy box. Maybe I can find some other toys there. I have to see if I can go in the garden again. Day six. Well, I was unable to go in the garden again. I decided to walk around in the halls. It's kind of weird walking on the west side. In one of the halls, I was hearing some whispers coming from one of the walls. I couldn't really make out what was being said. Also, the wall looked a little off. I tried to tell somebody about it, but no one wanted to check it out. Grown-ups never want to listen to me in the last home we lived in. I guess I should have known it was going to be like that here, too. Alright, is that the... secret passage we saw? Quite possibly. Oh, hello. Is this the front balcony? This is the front balcony. All right. Not much use to me, but good to know. All right, so he wrote the pattern of levers on one of the walls of the halls near his bedroom. Something written in the hallway here. Take that. Oops. <laughs> West wall, so hmm. Don't see anything written on the walls. That is the entrance hall again. So we come around in a loop, okay. You, do you hear what I hear? Uh, there is a geared key, uh, you know, a geared lock. So we're not going to be able to get out of there without death and alarms, those bad things. Writing on the wall. 
Oh, that's what you said. The wall near his bedroom. Because you can't take the book. Move the levers and rush it on one of the hallway walls near my room. I mean, like, surely the, their servants would have already scrubbed it off. Don't see any writing on any of these walls. Front entrance. I bet there's another watch it entire here. Yep. Is that which kind of turret is that? It's a bomb turret, okay. Uh this makes me feel like this is a dead end. I mean I can try Leroy Jenkins in this too, why not? Takes us back to the library, alright. Come and get me! You missed! Try again! Ah! Oh, I'll happily save scum that. Alright, so that takes us to the library. And I expect if we do, if I try the same thing at the other end, it will also not take us anywhere useful. Which means we now have. If so, that means we now have as much information as we're going to get. Although I haven't been through this. So where would we find this key? So we can't pick it. Where would we find the metal gear? Oh, you want to see what I see there? A light switch. All right. Well, let's let's save scan. Let's try something here. So firstly, there's nothing written on any of these walls. I've found no clocks with numbers under them. I found a clock with a gear under it, but no numbers. I'm wondering if there's some, maybe some texture issues in the map. I don't know. I'll go look uh, at some point, but I'm thinking now, there's a light switch in that front hallway, right? Um, I could get down here. Maybe. Not very safely, it's quite a long drop. Oh, I've got a slow fall. Sure, let's use it. So I can get down here. We can get to this light switch. Oh, it's not good enough. I was going to say that might let us get in and out of here without risking death by turret, but no. Death by turret is a fixture here. All right. Let's do a quick Leroy Jenkins scout of the other passage, which I think will take us around to the... Hmm. I don't know. Somewhere we've been before, I'm sure. Yeah, also the library. Again. So, and none of this is any good. didn't check this fountain. 
Let's get some coins in it. All the alarms are off, we might as well get some coins, huh? Set all the alarms off, every alarm. Alright. Northwards to the library, I think. Wait, the training room. Let's check out the training room. We're looking for a pattern for those levers, but there isn't one. Try right. The kid said when they got it wrong, the uh, the numbers went back to zero. All right, uh, thirty-six possible combinations. If I want to brute force it, I don't want to brute force it. That's the metal gear we need for that door upstairs, I think. It feels like it's an object. Hopefully that's an object, not just decal. And so if we can get that metal gear, we can progress. Count the no total number of numbers on here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Or are we counting the Roman numbers as well? Because then there'd be 48, presumably, although a few of them are obscured. Either way, it's not 72. So there might be a different number to go on this. But I don't know what. And that one does something, but not anything, Not doesn't open these doors. Ah, uh, dear. Alright, let's reload for our Jenkins. So, we should have a clue on one of these hallway walls, right? Near his room, he said. I mean, we're not very near his room, but I don't see anything written on any walls that we've been past. I know it's dark in here, but uh, it's not so dark that I shouldn't be able to see it. Is there something written on it? I definitely said hallway. That looks like stuff or something, but that's just a shadow from uh, the window bars there. Being thorough. I mean, I can turn the light on here and check these ones more easily. There's nothing up here to worry about lighting for, but. see anything. Uh, I think rather than stare at walls for too much longer, I'm definitely not near his room anymore, rather than stare at walls for uh, too much longer, I think I might just go check what the forum has to say. I can't find any clocks with numbers under them. Um, can't find a way to turn off the security even though the code seems to say it should. Uh, you have lots of turret death traps and I don't know if they're stopping me getting anywhere that I should be able to get to. I don't... We have a book for the garden. One of three things that we need. 
could try putting it in the garden. For that, we've got to uh, either do a one-way sliffle or Leroy Jenkins our way out again. And I'm out of healing. Out of healing potions, so I can't keep doing that forever. We have the key gem. Which is presumably a second item we need for the garden. But it didn't seem to go in any of the statues. So I don't know what it's for. And there's three statues and we've only got two items anyway, so I don't know where the third would be. Can't find the writing on the wall that this kid mentioned. Can't find a way to open the secret door on the west side that the girl mentioned. What did she say about it? Um, Whispers coming from the walls. Looked a little off. That's it. Doesn't say anything about it. Can't figure out the training room puzzle. Can't figure out the maze puzzle. Can't figure out the mage. What's the best, what's the easiest Leroy Jenkins is? Ledge up there, I wonder if there's anything up there. Alright, well, let's. I'm just gonna try this. I'm just gonna go out here again very quickly. Well, I can do that without dying, okay. These clocks, do they have numbers under them? Can't, don't think I can get back up there without dying, or at least risking dying. I don't see any numbers at all. Nor on that one. So that's a wash. Are there other clocks in this entrance way? No. Alright, let's go. Well, there's an arrow there we might be able to get at some point. Alright, well I got down without dying. That's that's positive. Oh careful. Yeah, he's stopping us getting somewhere, but I don't remember where. Um, surely that's got something to do with this secret door here. It's obvious, well, not so obvious, but uh, this is the eastern. Hang on, this is the eastern side, isn't it? No, the north... this... hang on, let me just run straight past here. This is the front area, yeah, this is the west... we're in the western... western halls now, so that's the secret door. It's definitely the secret door that the girl was talking about. That she heard whispering from. I can't hear any whispering. But... Can't see any sign of a way to open it. I'm guessing it has something to do with this clock, maybe. Which is the only clock of its kind we've seen, with a gear underneath it. What was I going to try? There's the also there's the targets in the library, which I don't know what to do with. Too many puzzles that, without any real guidance that I can figure out. It's frustrating. Oh wait, so these clocks are, oh, clocks with numbers on them, at the library. All right. Not the metal mechanist clocks, the other clocks. That's a two. Is there another one in the library? Now I feel stupid. Alright, I have a clue to go on. 
I have so many for the many puzzles. Have I seen another clock? No, not up here. Why should I go be looking? For another clock. Well. Library clock has a two. This is the mage statue. No clocks there. Kill me now. Uh, was that after I made the note? Yeah. Sorry, I was just like not thinking. And, uh,. My finger slips off WASD when I eat that. Won't surprise me. Do these doors close themselves? I don't remember closing it. Maybe I did. Are there any clocks in the bedrooms? Maybe. Not in this bedroom. This way is not safe, right? Oh, that's the big central room. This way, be very not safe. That's got two turrets in it. Okay. No clocks in here either. Where is the second clock? With numbers under it. What's the room there? What's that room there? I don't know. It's going to be dangerous to find out. But not impossibly dangerous. Let's go. Oh, this is the ballroom. Oh, this clock has a number under it too. One. Alright, I'm blind. Now that suggests there should be someone in the ballroom, right? Hello. Stop this villain! Stop. Someone else can stop me. You took a while to react, though. Uh, okay, we have two digits from the clocks with numbers under them. That means we need to now get to the training room. Okay, uh, maybe I have a way forward after all. What was that here? Oh. I don't remember what was out here. Oh, it's just the same room again, okay. Yes, let's not do that. Save scum when the other chance is basically just more and more death. Alright, so we've got a one and a two. And maybe the number 24. I'll worry about you later. How do we get back to the training room? Um, through here? Yeah. So the training room was the eastern exit. Okay. us for now let's try the other number nope nope 
Nope. No. Um. Surely it wasn't adding up the numbers because that would be multiple digits, not two. So the total number of numbers on here. I mean, there's 24 numbers around the outside. How many num How many Roman numerals can we see? Uh, let's include partials. One, two, th well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Nope. Oh, 48 was the other one, right? No, not 12. Total. Or we could say 21 plus 24, which is 45. It's really badly, uh, badly constrained puzzle. And if we don't include partials, there's what, two partials? Well, we can't find the lever pattern either, so we'd be stuck, even if we got this right, we'd be stuck brute forcing the lever pattern. So, I'm actually going to cut here, I'm going to check the forums and find out how to get past this puzzle. It's upstairs, I think. Wrong way, wrong way. She's upstairs. Come on now, come on. Oh, hello. It's not far back. All right. What do I items do I have? Key gem, but not the key box. I haven't actually been through the bedrooms yet. that. Key book, okay. And the girls are all right. Which... And the boys room. Toy chest had nothing in it. He had a journal which said about the markings for the levers on the wall. Wait, somebody said was here which you need the lights on for. Uh, it took them ten minutes to find. Which does not make me very happy. Or maybe it's over here. Ah, oh, there we are. So right left left. No, let's go right, left. And let's just put it in the way he's got it there. Left, right. And left, left. Hang on. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. Okay, so it was right, left, left, right, left, left. However, 
I don't know what the correct code is, so we need to go find these clocks again. Clocks with numbers on them. One was in the library, and the other was in the ballroom. I can't remember where it is safe to go and where it is not safe to go. This was clock number two here. It is saying it is five minutes past nine. Does that matter? No, like three minutes past nine. Alright, and let us see if we can find a way back to clock number one, which not that way. Was it this way? Can't remember where the ballroom was. This bedroom. That's the death room, that's the center. Ah, the bedroom. Secret room. Gear clock, which is showing five minutes past three. In case it matters. All right, this is the way to the ballroom. That's right. My right, ballroom clock is five minutes past seven. We just assume it's our matters, then we've got digits nine and seven, right? Let's see if we can get out of here without dying. Wow, without even getting shot at. <sighs> Alrighty. Is this way, not those ways. The training room is out there, but we can get to the training room from upstairs, I think. Doesn't take me to the training room. Oh, he shot two at me. Uh, I've forgotten how to get to the training room. This way. Training room. Would have been easy to go through the middle and everything, but okay. So I don't understand why putting the security code in here makes it go cling, but it's not the right code. So what numbers do we have? We have 903705979, and there are 24 numbers. Let's try 7924. Nope. Um, okay. 
seven, nine, well, there's 48 numbers all, all together. If we count the Roman numerals too. No, let's just try nine, seven, two, four. Nope. We can put these in the right order, right? What's the right order for these? It doesn't matter if we don't have the right number here. I... Um, as a loss. <sighs> Most inscrutable puzzles ever. Test your puzzles with people. See what they get stuck on. Fix your puzzles. Don't put more clues in. Wrong way. That's all right. So now, what uh, the thread told me is that um, there is a purple book in the library that is. Well, I don't know which puzzle it's for solving because. There's too many puzzles, and it's all too confusing, but it's relevant, necessary for at least one of them. And right now, it seems to me that the puzzles have uh, circular dependencies, which presumably they shouldn't, right? But I'm confused. There's also a critical bug with the clock puzzle that made it not work uh, in version 1.1, but that should be fixed in, since I'm playing version 1.2, so two game-breaking bugs is really not positive, but hopefully they're both fixed. I'm just stuck with terribly obscure puzzles that everyone seems to be having trouble with, not just me. The forum thread is full of people having trouble with it, even after they've been explained, which is something quite special. All right, let's check all those upstairs. Let's look downstairs. Puzzle design is very hard, and that's why puzzles in Thief need to be really simple. Thief is not a puzzle game. Ah, here we are. The Three Seekers of the Occult Mask. Not a lot is known of these masks, but they originated from the occult woods. It was said that three men, a philosopher, a scholar, and a gem appraiser, were on a journey to discover them. Couldn't get to them normally. These masks were said to be revealed by some special means for three items. Each of these men gathered one object that was important to them. For the philosopher, he brought his scepter that his father gave him when he was younger. The scholar brought his oldest book that was passed down for ten generations. As for the gem appraiser, he was carrying his family gem that was in his family for countless generations. As they arrived at a mysterious gate with each item in hand, the items had a slight glow, and then the gate opened. Alright, uh, book, gem, and scepter. Well, we have a, book, a key book and a key gem, we don't have a key scepter and I haven't seen one. The three men entered and found a chest near a big tree. When they opened it, they found the statue of Ipaniox. It was said to be a sculpture of the owner that made the mask they were looking for. When they picked it up, a strange sound came from it. They all noticed that the item stopped glowing, but now some of the machines near them started to function correctly, as if someone flipped a switch on. The rest of the pages are unreadable. Yes, very unreadable indeed. Uh huh. Uh huh. Enlightening. Lol, still reading this? Well, I'm still flipping through it. Because I don't know where you've hidden secrets. Alright, that is not helping. Three secrets of the occult mask. Just tells me I need a scepter as well, and I have been all over this house except in the place that's locked away behind puzzles and there's no sign of a scepter 
Am I missing another book? Because I could easily be missing another book. Because they're all well hidden. I will say it now, I am not feeling much love for this mission because... I don't know how long now I've been spending on these puzzles with no luck and no progress. But it is much too long. Oh, there's a red book. The Finding of the Four Relics. Through the path of the elemental journey towards the balance, a lone person must not venture this path to become victorious. Nay, all four elements must band together. With them, a party of six will become stronger. Why? Too simple. While each elemental mage is capable to use the elements, there may be some conflicts between each other. The two non-elemental people will be able to help guide the flow of the four elemental people to make their aim true. Only then they will find the correct path. Four, six, two, four. Is that the code we need? Two, four is the number of digits when you're not counting the Roman numerals on the clock. What's four, six got to do with that? The clock's was reading... Uh, 705 and 903. But if we go back to the training room, which is up here, run. Maybe that is the code we need. We were able to pick the book up, so I can check it there. But I think it was 4624. We have to leave a combination. But maybe we also need the statue. I mean, I know we also need the statue. That's the thread told me. Zero. Oh, because of the levers. Four, six, two, four. Yeah, okay. They squiggle and shut because we don't have the statue. Alright. Way too complicated. So, to get the statue, we need to solve the garden maze. And to solve the garden maze, we need the three key items, of which we have only two. Alright, we can't get to the garden from here, but I don't know where the scepter is. So, bear with me while I sigh. Go check the thread again to find out where the scepter is hiding. I... Alright, I give up on figuring out how I'm supposed to figure this out. I'm just going to use the answers that somebody posted in the forum. <sighs> because... Because I am utterly out of patience. Because I know we still have another turret gauntlet, the turrets aren't shutting off. I can't shut the security off until we get past the, the statue to get to the clock, to get the gear, to get to the security room. Bloody hell. Alright. Okay, so... I don't know how you're supposed to know this, but... Uh, where's, which one of these is the turret on? Here. So, I have no idea how you're supposed to learn this, um, but there's a pattern for shooting these. Which is supposed to be that. Yes. And that gives me the key scepter. Alright, now we have the three items we need. Let me get my bulkheads back. Now we have the three items we need. I go with you. To do the hedge maze, uh, which we get to through. Uh, let's go back to the training room. It's probably the easiest way to get there. Whoa! Cheating. Shit. Oh, well, I don't care about the alarm. The alarm will sort itself out. Oh wow, red lights. Uh, 
Uh, so the hedge maze, I wrote it down, right? Where's the west entrance? Well, the alarm's already going off. Oh, wait. This alarm's not good. These aren't going off. Alright, let's make another hard save. Go away. Alright, so we have three statues in here. They were... Do we still have the book? Not key book. Yeah, the people. No, the other one. That doesn't help. There's the book, which we couldn't pick up, which told us about the people. One was a philosopher, one was a gem cutter, and one was something else. Well, I tried... Alright, that's the book. Okay. Must be the philosopher. the other statues. Is this the gem cutter? Nope, that's the scepter man. Not supposed to see me, man. That's the one that's basically impossible to get past, that's right. No, nope, we've been to him. Well, the maze is for a reason, right? Oh, back it's up to man, what? There is no other way to go than out here. Well, that's right, we... Come here. I'm gonna make a dash for this shadow. I'm gonna make a dash around here. Alright. I 
finally the key gem. I guess I've never tried the key gem on here. Dash from shadow to shadow, I guess. Now, there's a turret in this next room as well. Which is, of course, already awake. Just for us. Two types, in fact. survive this. It's a pretty epic moment, really. Let's try it. Leroy Jenkins. Let's try that again. Let's set him off first. We don't have an invisibility potion, even though we had one last mission. Right, run in. We got the statue. Bloody hell, that was ridiculous. But we got it. So now, we're done with the hedge maze. Thank goodness. Now we're good at the clock. Back in the training room to the eastern gate then. I'm not sure why I'm worried about alarms anymore, to be honest. Um, that's not the training room. Here we are. So now we have the statue. It's very obvious, isn't it, that this puzzle needs a statue? Now that code was changed. See, the th problem with the different codes is all of them drive the same mechanism. That one was changed by hitting the targets. You could also just have typed it in here. Uh, so now the code for this one. And yes, now we have the gear. Now with this gear, we can Leroy Jenkins our way Across the top floor, hopefully not get hit. Somehow get to... Wait, this goes to the library, doesn't it? Um... We need to get back to the front of the place. Front room. And although we could try running past the uh, turrets near the library, probably going to be easier. Is it through here? Nope, that's the death. That's the room of death. Hello. I still don't know how that opens. This one's what? It's 35 minutes past three. Yeah, I don't know how this is supposed to work. Something subtracting. Seven minus three is four. Nine minus three is six. Okay. The minutes. 
clocks obviously count minutes. It's four room, right? Is this, is this the way to the front? Front room, yes. All right, so we get another chance to lead Roy Jenkins our way up here. Although maybe. I wonder if we could rope our way in somewhere where they won't be able to see me very well. No, probably not. I think just making a run for it. And make sure we've got lateral speed compared to them so that they're more likely to miss. Zigzag, all right. <sighs> Past those, now this one. This, the turrets don't have line of sight, I don't believe. So we just wait for this guy to face away and then we should be able to get in. Alrighty. Now where's our scroll? Scroll? No, papyrus. 1572, we should be able to shut down the security from this panel, but not the other one. Even though the other one did make it sound like My god. Finally, I'm not at risk of dying. Oh, yes, I am. Fuck. The watches are off, but the turrets are still fucking active. So now what? I bet these ones are still active too, right? Yep. Well, I still can use the slow fall potion to get down outside without turret risk. Wait, this is just going around in a circle here. This way. Let's take us back towards the back of the house. Yeah, I think you literally can't see those with the light off. Right there. I think they might even be hidden. Removed from sight. So I can slow fall my, slow fall my way down here to not uh, die. Or, all right, that worked. Wait, you know, going in there is, is death again. Uh, wait, this is all death again. This is a bad idea. Isn't it? These don't get me part out. There's only the front room. You need to go through the front room for those. So this one gets me to the dining room, which has a turret, right? Which is gonna try its best to kill us. Uh, watcher exploded? That's odd. Um, front room. Yeah, let's not go that way. But then this way is also a bad idea.
because of our friend here. Who's still very much awake. Our friends. Yikes. On the other hand, we made it. So now we can go back to the library. Why do I want to be at the library? I don't think I do want to be at the library, but I do want to get to that western side door where the panel was. Is that this way? No, that leads us straight into a trap. It was ground floor, so it was back this way. Uh, which I lost where the door is now. It's the other end of this hole. So how do I open this? What do I do in the security room except shut down security? Back to the forums. This mission makes no sense. Do we need to just push the mage, the mage button now? Is that what we need to do? Leaving these doors open makes me nervous, but... Uh, on the other hand, maybe it's good to know I can get through there. Let's go push the mage button. Now that we've put it in the right code, although we already put it in the right code, but now, I don't know, maybe something's different? We switched some levers in the security room, which should have nothing to do with the mage. Oh, hello. Okay, that is different. I don't know why I should have expected that turning off security would somehow fix the mage. I thought the mage's stuff was supposed to predict the mechanists, not come after them. Whatever. Uh, are we going to fall to our death here? We probably are going to fall to our death here, aren't we? Yep. Good, good. At least we can make these jumps without a billion difficulties. Staying on the path to true meaning. Please proceed to the true gym for my scepter. Just remember that once you continue this path, you can never go back. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you used to never go back? What do you mean by that? I hope this won't bite me in the ass later on. So he teleported me to the front room again, so now I've got to get to the western wing. Alright, let's just let's just try running it. Oh, that doesn't help me. Well I guess it means I can get down here and Go up here again and run past this turret, which I guess I can do. It's an explodey one. Go through the dining room. Hope not to die. Yeah, is it the dining room? Dining room or the dining room? You never really know the difference. It's, they sound so similar. Ouch. Alright, but now. Is this open? At last, it is open. Is there another puzzle here, or do we just take it? We just I take think it. My work here is done. Thank the builder. All right. Um, 
I was looking for a map, but no, we need to go to the back door, which is the south end. Which we can just run right through here. We don't care. Set off the alarm. I don't care. I'm going to collect this last few coins that we saw in the fountain. Are there any in the lower fountain, maybe? Oh, we turned the watches off anyway. So, fine, you know, at the time it barely makes any difference when you were able to turn the security off. Except the turrets were all still on, so it still would just about kill us. I see the back door. Do I win? Thank goodness. Alright, well I'm sure I missed a ton of loot, but uh, and we missed one secret and missed, oh only 350. That's much better than normal. Damage dealt, 31 damage taken, 48. <laughs> taken 28. Yeah, we died. We would have died, I don't know how many times over and reloaded. Oh god, I'm so glad I killed those bots when I first saw them because... Can you imagine if they were also kept getting woken up by all the explosions and everything? Oh my god. Alright. Oh. You were able to get the true gem for the magic scepter. What will happen when they're together? Well, while I'm at it. Please continue watching the rest of this event. Wait, there was 2,000 loot in that mission? <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll stay tuned for a sequel at some point. Well, that was the pursuance of an inscrutable reciprocity and... Well... Inscrutable is not the adjective I would use, but uh... With uh... Never figured out what... How to find the code for the library target puzzle, but... I had to find that one on the forum thread. Luckily someone posted it. Never figured out how to do the clocks. Uh, if we'd found the book earlier, maybe we would have found that, but the whole thing about subtracting the hours on the clocks from the other clock, oh my god. Even with the talk about those clocks being the key of the first digits, we'd never have guessed that. And there were too many possible answers to the how many digits there are on the clock face to make that a reliable puzzle either. Uh, when we finally got the code, the, the mechanist code for the security to shut down security, which only shut down the watches, not the turrets, so it was only half good. Um, it was way too late to worry about shutting down security because it was all seemed to be permanently on anyway. Well, the turrets were. Uh, somehow that made the mage button work. I still don't understand how that's supposed to work. But, uh... Well, we got to the end with a lot of hints. Well, some outright answers to puzzles. But thanks very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me here for the next episode. Or the next mission. Uh, whatever that will be. Thanks for watching. <laughs>